Hello, I wanted to make a follow-up video showing how to give a lecture uh, slightly differently perhaps than you have been doing. In the other video we talked about having a webcam or a laptop pointed at you in your classroom or I suppose your living room and you delivering a lecture as usual uh, with a projected PowerPoint file or a chalkboard behind you to minimize the uh, challenge to you in transitioning your normal face-to-face -face course to an online course. And what we found in piloting several online classes today is that's great if your students are in the classroom because they can see the board, but having it projected onto their phone or onto their computer screen, seeing the board that you are standing in front of and lecturing can be somewhat problematic. And so sharing your screen or using a uh, electronic whiteboard can perhaps be a better option for the students. It's going to be a heavier lift for us faculty because most of us don't typically uh, draw with a computer mouse uh, on a computer screen. We're used to writing on a whiteboard or a chalkboard. Uh, that being said, uh, Blackboard absolutely has the capability and so I wanted to show a video for how to do that. So when you're in your course, you can scroll down to Course Tools and go to Blackboard Collaborate Ultra here. You can scroll down even further and Course Tools down there and click on Blackboard Collaborate Ultra. Or if you've watched the other video and you have made a shortcut link for yourself and your students, you can just go to your online lecture area that way. Once there, you uh, perhaps uh, have created some sessions for scheduled class times. That is of course an option and Dennis has ha provided handouts for how to create those sessions. However, your course room is always available to you and you can record sessions in your course room. Students can join the course room if they arrive early to virtual class uh, before you. So uh, not creating a session is certainly not an impediment to having your online lecture. So I'm just going to use my course room, because why not? And you just join the course room, which opens a second window. To end your class, you can just close the window. Pretty much every time you do this, you're going to need to allow uh, the uh, uh, camera and microphone access. Even if you're not using a camera, you'll need to allow microphone access uh, to the program. So make sure that you start recording your session so that students will have access to it later and that you share your audio. Then uh, we were talking about last time having this webcam pointed at you so you would share your video. You do not need to do that this time because you are going to either share your button over here you're going to either share your PowerPoint file directly from within the program. You can share an individual application. Let's say that you're teaching an English class and you have your Microsoft Word file up if you're doing some sort of grammar lesson. Uh, or you can share a blank whiteboard. All three options work rather well. I will caution you, if you are going to share your PowerPoint file, this doesn't send the file to the student, it loads it into Collaborate, and you can choose uh, a slide at a time to demonstrate. I will check and see if I have a file available to be able to do that for you. Uh, when I tried this today, I had a rather large PowerPoint file with a lot of graphics. It was only maybe 50 slides, um, but uh, collaborate would not load it. Um, I helped a, a, another colleague out. He had well over a hundred slides in his presentation, but his file was only four megabytes. Mine was 15 megabytes and his loaded just fine. So if you were planning on sharing your PowerPoint file in collaborate, and again, I'll, I'll demonstrate that just in a moment, uh, test it ahead of time test it ahead of time. You might need to run the PowerPoint application separately and share an application. Uh, perhaps the most, I suppose, normal thing for us is writing on a whiteboard. So perhaps not the most ideal. Writing with a mouse can be challenging if you're spelling stuff, but if you need to spell something, you can always just enter text uh, using the text tool here in the whiteboard. You have various pencils that you can draw and change the color of at will. So uh, again, not 
super ideal or super comfortable to necessarily very many of us drawing on the screen like this, but completely possible to be discussing a topic and using the whiteboard feature of Collaborate to communicate with your students exactly as if you were at a whiteboard in front of the classroom. Sharing an application, the uh, bug that we found today is that you need to have your application running and not minimized. So if I wanted to share a particular part of my screen or all of my screen, I could show my entire screen with the class. This can uh, end up in some uh, unusual looking through infinity, uh, here we go, uh, effects. So perhaps sharing your entire screen is not what you would like to do. You can just stop sharing up there. Uh, if I wanted to choose a particular application, say my uh, Explorer folder, uh, I could just, now the students are only seeing this window, uh, what's in this window when I am uh, showing them uh, the, the screen share. If I wanted to share a PowerPoint file, I could share my application, just the Chapter 5 PowerPoint file that is running, and then I could run my screen show, and my students would see my screen show, uh, unfortunately not with me standing in front of it and being able to draw on it, but I could, using the screen show features of Microsoft PowerPoint, still draw on my PowerPoint files. And since I'm sharing this window with my students, they would see all of my annotations. And they will see it more clearly than if I were projecting this in my classroom and standing in front of it with the screen show. I will discard my annotations. I'll go back to my screen. That is the problem with sharing an application is that you have to go back and forth from your Firefox or your Chrome or whatever you're using to do your Blackboard Collaborate and you have to go back and forth from that program to the PowerPoint, back and forth, back and forth. So if you want to see your students and chat with them, they're going to be hidden from you while you are uh, working on the PowerPoint file. What I found today when I ran my class was my students were very polite and quiet, so I didn't need to mute their microphones. And when any of them had a question, they would just speak up. I would go back to the Blackboard Collaborate screen, deal with the pro uh, question, and then go back to the PowerPoint slideshow and continue my lecture. Another option is that you can share your file. And if, and this is a big if, Blackboard will take in your PowerPoint file and convert it properly, and this can take some time. If it converts it properly, then you can show your PowerPoint file from within Collaborate and be able to chat with your students uh, and not have to go back and forth between programs. So if you're planning on using a PowerPoint file or a PDF file, sharing the file doesn't send them the file, it displays the file within the Collaborate program rather than you having to switch back and forth between windows where you're sharing a window, a PowerPoint window, or an Excel window, or a Microsoft Word window, or a Paint window, or a, um, a Nova program window, and, and going back and forth to Collaborate. Okay, so my PowerPoint file did load into collaborate this time. If you click on the PowerPoint file and share now, then you just pick a slide that you'd like to start with. And let's say I'm going to start at the beginning of chapter five. Then the students are seeing this window crystal clear. And again, just like with, from within PowerPoint, I can draw on my PowerPoint slide. I can go to the next slide. I can talk about this slide. I can navigate from here or I can navigate from the side window. I can scroll way ahead and jump to slide 14 if I wanted to and talk about this slide, use annotations, take my text and, and type on the screen uh, and do whatever I would like to do as if I was standing in front of a board. They are going to get the high resolution uh, 
version of it on their screen. And again, when we tried this today, uh, having the resolution of the slides in Collaborate really did seem necessary. Uh, other colleagues that tried this today were able to write big enough and dark enough on the board in the classroom with the webcam pointed at them so that the students could see it and certainly that is a less labor intensive way of doing it and we need to make sure that we can still deliver our content in a way that works for us as faculty um, but if the students can't see it at all and then you're just delivering content that they can't use so hopefully uh, this option of sharing from within the collaborate program either sharing your PDF or PowerPoint file in the share file option, sharing an individual PowerPoint application or other program through the share application slash screen, or writing on a blank whiteboard using your computer mouse or stylus will give your students a higher resolution uh, picture of your uh, lecture. If you have any questions, of course, see Dennis in the uh, Office for Educational Technology, or of course, feel free to shoot me an email.